Well, I'm the oldest child, and I got the good looks. Uh, my brother Tony's the youngest child, and he got the brains. And my brother Mike was the middle child, and he got the cancer. Got some bad news this morning, which in turn. Someone spoke, I listened All of a sudden has less and less to say Oh, how could this be With all this time She started in uh, March 96, 1996 My back was feeling pretty sore I decided to go to the doctor. The doctor said to me, oh, you look okay. I said, send me for x-rays, just the same. A week later, the doctor phones me with the x-ray results and uh, he explains to me that my bones were all thinning and uh, I had a, a bruise on my lung. So he sent me to a hematologist. And a hematologist, uh, Dr. Powers at St. Joe's, he, uh, First, checked my blood, and the hemoglobin was low. Like I was being myself. It's me in a nice, beautiful office, right? I said, that's no good, because I know it's going to be something, you know, not too good. So uh, he sits down and he tells me that I have multiple myeloma, which is uh, a cancer of the bone marrow. Who's going to save my son now? Uncle Mike you go to the doctor, you know, told him me before, after one week, he told you, um, fat, Uncle Don, he got a cancer, you know. All I have is the memory. We began by looking for matches between my, my two brothers, one older and one younger. And uh, that, that didn't, and eventually, like, with the results, that didn't work. Then, one day, I was, they said, for the heck of it, let's try mom. Oh, who's gonna save my soul now? All of a sudden, the phone rings, and it's Dr. Powers, and he, he wanted to speak to me, so he says, your mother's a match. I know I'm out of control now. What's ironic is my mother gave me birth and she gave me life again. You're like a, you go along with the struggles that you deal with every every day. Like some days you become very, very you know, uh, not depressed, but uh, it's just it it beats you down. It was a hard day in my life. Ooh, ooh, la -de -ma, trouble so hard. Ooh, la -de -ma, trouble so hard. Don't nobody know my trouble but God. My brother has a never-ending story. He uh, begins a joke or a story and he never ends it. You know, dealing with uh, leukemia has been, you know, a, a something that pe shatters people and I think his outlook and his preparation and his personality has made that easier. I know some of the patients that he deals with in you know the reunions and all that. I think they look to Mike and because he's had one of the greatest success of all the people in it. And I think you know he's he's been good for a lot of people. I didn't even know he was sick actually at first when I came. Somebody said that he's really sick. You wouldn't know that he's. No, his spirit's never changed. It's been the same before and after. He is easy going, funny, put a smile on your face. If you're having a bad day, you'll bring up a story of his past again and you'll start laughing. I think he's very brave and I think he always, uh, I've never heard him complain even if you ask how he is, he's always very positive. He's kind of guy that would give you the shirt off his back. Growing up with Mike is the same he was then as he is now. He's a good person, good hearted and a loving brother change and your lifestyle changes completely because out goes you know the old habits 
and uh, you slow down. You know, like before, it was work, 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 and play, play, play. Now it's different. You you appreciate you know nature. You appreciate uh, other people, and it's, uh, you slow it down. And it's it's actually it, it's been a benefit in that in that case because uh, you know it's I've learned to develop a lot of patience because of that. You don't realize how how devastated your body is, how weak you are, this and that. But slowly but surely, with the help of family and friends, I started eating again, started exercising, and I was, you know, walking, walking, and I I got up to walking uh, 20 kilometers a day, and things were going great. Mike, in one sentence or one word, what would it be? Wonderful. It's a perfect man, you know, it's like he's like an angel and the earth, and he's a good man. Um, spending the summers with him and going to Confederation Park because he always wanted us to have a good time. <laughs> Is he going, you know, very cheaper? <laughs> Overall, he's just a good person. Exactly, that's how you say this. Well, he's my hero. You know, um, he's, uh, he's, he's battled more things than most of us will. And he's had a positive outlook. And, uh, you know, we, we, we respect that. And uh, we don't say it enough. And, 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 but, you know, we all feel the same way. And it's me and my friends. We're all, we're all in the same boat. So I'd say that's pretty well it. You know, the way he's, the way he's battled this has been heroic. Inspiring. It's very really good song. Yeah. Ah, let me see. One sentence. Well, me and my brother, brother Tony, we're going to hell, and Mike is going to heaven in the long uh, battle that he's having right now. In the short term, he's suffering, but in eternity, he will be forever blessed. I sit here 